Hi, I'm back in the studio. This time, let's go through some quick tips on how to shoot a product video. Here, we have some fruits. It may be boring subject, but with some little effort, it can be presentable. When you shoot video for static objects compared with still images, you have to be careful for light because strobes cannot be used. And you also have to be careful with movements. The foundation of shooting a product is same as portrait, but it requires different quality of light. For this shoot, I want that distinctive commercial look, the product evenly lit, rather than a contrastly look with shadowy areas. I have a key light which acts as a main light source and a fill light to eliminate shadows caused by the key light. Bounce boards can also act as a fill. At last, I put a backlight to separate the subject from the background, creating depth to this scene. And voila, this is called three-point lighting. Or I can also light this product with one light source by positioning the light differently. By lighting the product from right above, I can evenly light the product. Also, bouncing the light can fill in more of the ambience. Oftentimes, if you use the light wisely, you do not need that much of a gear. The key to framing product shoot is getting extreme close-up and macro shots, which emphasizes the features and characteristics of the product. This excites and draws audiences' attention. In addition to this, using a slider can add movement into a static scene, which makes this product shoot more dramatic. Also, putting color gels might spice up how the product can look, although it causes color cast, which may not suit in some cases. And I would like to show the power of HFR, abbreviation of high frame rate shooting. Here, we put tomatoes in a water tag to capture slow motion. In the case of HFR shooting, you have to pay close attention to lighting since it tends to get higher shutter speed, which makes darker exposure. To compensate that, we need more light. I like this scene similar to the previous one with three-point lighting. Always make sure to watch out for glare and reflection, as each product has different amount of reflectance. Both Alpha 7 Mark III and FS5 Mark II have HFR function. If you use FS5 Mark II with a compatible external monitor, you can have higher frame rate with raw output such as continuous HD 240 FPS and 4K 120 FPS for 4 seconds. In addition, FS5 Mark II has end trigger feature, useful for capturing unexpected or unpredictable events as you can wait for the action to happen. In this sense, FS5 Mark II can be highly recommended for HFR shooting.